You can see my head is now <laughs> freshly shaven, hoping to get some aerodynamics going, get that speed up. This is the 1st of February. I've just ran my first 10K, which was a bit over 10K. I've chosen a route that has multiple different terrains, views, different levels of difficulties. The route that I've run today has got roads, different kind of terrains, muddy, gravel, uphills, downhills, it's got great views, it's got heights, it's got lows. This is the route that I'm gonna be trying to run each and every day for the whole of February. Fitness wise, I'm absolutely fine. My pace, I think on that run, was about uh, 5.42 per kilometer. I'm not really bothered about the pace. I'm more bothered about just getting in the distance. I don't really enjoy running very much. It's not been bad this morning. You know, I've got my 10K in, but every single day is gonna be getting very, very hard. 10 kilometers a day, it's doable, but it's just gonna be a very big challenge. It's gonna be a mental challenge. It's gonna be a physical challenge. I'm gonna see how my legs and how my body reacts to it and where I'm at in a week or so's time, and we'll go from there. And I'm gonna go and get a shower and get ready for the day. Nice one. <sighs> day one to day four. My intrinsic motivation was at an all time high, as it usually is at the start of any challenge. My fitness was fine. I had no problems for the first four days, apart from a few very minor blisters. Absolutely no troubles whatsoever. I was obviously wasn't enjoying it. You know, I, I don't really, I don't enjoy running at all, really. But the first four days for me were. We're absolutely fine, no troubles whatsoever. Now day four to day seven was when A, my intrinsic motivation started to sizzle out. B, my blisters were getting a little bit worse. C, my left knee was starting to play up and my right hip was starting to play up quite a lot. This is because, and I know I said at the start of this in the intro that I was gonna be incorporating stretching into my challenge. I'd been doing absolutely no or little to no stretching and this definitely played a, a big part with regards to my joints and my hips. Day 8 is where things really started to take a turn for the worst. Day 8 is where we had some really bad weather here. It actually snowed. It didn't snow whilst I was running but it snowed later on in the day. It was a very cold morning. I remember it. I'm going to put a clip up here for you. Morning people. It is day eight of the run, 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. As you can see, it's a miserable one this morning. It's raining, it's cold, it's wet. My hands are freezing, but I'm putting it in regardless. I'm out here regardless, and I'm putting in that work. Yeah, it was freezing, it was just a horrible morning. At this point, my intrinsic motivation was really really running dry and this is where I had to dig very deep back into the barrel and try to get a big handful of discipline you have to have discipline otherwise you know you're just not going to get what you need to get done done this is another thing I also learnt on day eight is that we learn a lot about ourselves through doing the things that we don't want to do and through pain and through suffering I'm not saying I, I, I was suffering by, by any means. Just as a side note, I mean, I used to be a care worker and I used to care for people with no legs, people on palliative care, people who are really suffering, right? So for me to moan about a bit of cold weather and a few blisters is a load of rubbish, really. But it does still lead me to the point that you can never truly achieve anything by only doing the things that we want to do. We have to take time out to do the things that we don't want to do in order to get to where we need to be. Day nine to day 10, it was more of a mental challenge. The weather was quite bad, it was cold, it was miserable. I didn't want to be getting up. I find myself asking the question every morning of why am I doing this, why am I getting up? Blisters were getting worse, knees were getting worse, hips were getting worse. My muscular endurance was, was fading. <laughs> my fitness was fine. My fi I've not really had a problem with my fitness for this whole challenge. Day 11. <laughs> Day 11 is where things got really, really tough for me. Day 11 is where me and the Build or Break team, me, Jack and Chris, decided that it'd be a good idea to go on a 18 mile hike. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, in the midst of me doing this 10 kilometers a day challenge. I mean, it was really great fun, but I'm gonna put some clips of this in a second. It was really great fun. I mean, just check these, check these videos out because it was a good time. Have a look at these. Getting there bit by bit. It 
So yeah, from those videos it might look, you know, all sunshines and rainbows, but the truth of the matter is, is that I had work boots on, steel toe caps on, because I'm not a big hiker, right? I'm, ooh, nearly went, it's really muddy out here. I'm not a big hiker, right? I've never actually been on, on, a, on a hike like that. I've done a lot of running, but never a hike. So I don't have any hiking boots. So I wore my dad's steel toe caps and this made my feet one million times worse. I remember taking my shoes off at the car. I didn't actually get any footage of this, I should have. But I remember taking my shoes off at the car after the hike. Feet were just in an absolute state, you know? <laughs> it was just awful. Did I did let out a few moans and groans about my feet along the way. Jack was just telling me to shut up all the time about it, but I still got my 10 kilometer running on day 11, by the way. I just woke up extra early to get that in. Day 12 was awful. My legs were absolutely battered from the hike. I think my pace dropped by about 10 minutes. I was basically walking <laughs> the whole way. And I was very close to stopping a few times, but I didn't stop. I haven't stopped once this challenge. That was the main thing for me, just to not stop. Everything was hurting on day 12, my feet, my my knees, my hips, my muscular endurance, my fitness was still fine, but I was just feeling absolutely in the bin is the best way I can put it. Day 12 onwards till I'd say day 18, which was my race day. Another thing that I probably shouldn't have booked for halfway through this challenge was a half marathon race and I'll put a few clips of that up in a second. So from day 11 till day 18, was kind of just battling more physically I'd say than mentally. It was definitely more physically demanding and physically challenging for these for the next you know four or five days after that hike. I can't remember exactly what day it was. I'll have to find it and clip it here in a second. <laughs> my I woke up one day and my legs were just fine. It is day 14 of the run, 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. Despite waking up again with absolutely zero motivation to do this, I've also woke up and my legs feel fine. Who knew that the remedy for sore and painful legs was just to keep running 10 kilometers a day? I've got a few shin splints, a few blisters, but my knee, my hip, and my muscular endurance, it's almost fine, really. Somehow, I'd woke up and my legs were absolutely fine. We've now reached day 18. I'd like to mention that my blisters had actually gotten a little bit better at this point. I, I had my feet wrapped big time for this race. Again, I should have recorded the footage of my feet, but I just didn't think to do it. But anyway, I got to the race. I was adamant, adamant, I was adamant to do okay. I, I genuinely did not think I was gonna do anywhere near as well as I did. I managed to get all PBs, PBs for every distance I've ever done. I managed to get a really good time. I think I managed a 4.34 pace per kilometer for the whole time, which is, you know, I was really proud of. So that was race day, post race, day 19. I don't know, and I don't know what was harder, post hike or post race. I was <laughs> in the bin. Again, this was a massively physically demanding day for me, a really physically challenging day for me. It is day 19 of the run, 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. As you can see, <laughs> my pace is a joke. I woke up today feeling ill, sore throat, runny nose. My right hip is jacked, basically limping the whole way. My feet are in terrible shape. I've got blisters in between my toes. So I can't even put plasters on them. I'm just feeling absolutely awful, but I'm getting it in regardless. I wasn't expecting this challenge to be easy. So you know what I say? Bring it on, baby! I'd also like to mention that, <laughs> although I said I'd start stretching after day eight, I've still not done any stretching or nowhere near enough stretching. Don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll, do, a little, I'll do a little one of them you know, for a couple seconds before and after the race, but that doesn't really count, I don't think. For the next three or four days, my knees were really playing up. My lower back started to hurt a few days after the race as well, but I've had lower back pains before. So yeah, post-race day up until perhaps day 22 was very physically demanding. Day 22 till today, this is where things started to change. I've kind of, and I don't really know how to put this, I've kind of become numb to the pain in my legs, I've become numb to the blisters, I've become numb to the joint pains, the lower back pains, 
and I've kind of just got on with it. So from days 22 till now, I don't really have much to say to the effects that it's had physically on me, but I do have some things to say with regards to how it's affected me, not only mentally, but spiritually and as a person. And I'm gonna put the clip up of this because this is actually, this for me was quite a spiritual experience, right? But I was running up here, it was just, it was just, a bit further down there right and I got to the top of the hill and I thought you know what let me just look back because the sun was behind me I just thought let me just have a look at the sun the sun was coming through these clouds right and it was absolutely phenomenal mate <laughs> like I don't even know how to explain it right the video just does not do it justice at all for me right this was a big sign for me to look back at what I've already achieved because through life we tend to focus mainly on the mistakes that we've made and the bad times in our lives we never really sit down and think how far we've actually already come and this for me was a big it was almost a massive motivator for me right to just carry on because at this point I'd look back and I thought you know what I'm halfway through or whatever day I'm on just keep going keep going and not just for the running right but for life Whoa, we nearly went again but just in life in general we have to take these times and we have to reflect and we have to look back on what we've achieved and what we've done and the obstacles we've overcome and the lessons that we've learned and we have to take time to reflect on this because those lessons that we learn through life and those experiences that we go through are essentially what make us who we are today. But that almost concludes the video. I think there's only one thing left to say and that's where I am right now. I'm currently on day 28. I went on my 28th. 10 kilometer run this morning. I feel a huge sense of fulfillment, even though I've not finished yet, I've still got one day left. But to conclude this video, I just want to say that any daunting task will always seem daunting at the start, and it will always remain daunting until you start taking action, until you take them first steps. And it's with every step you take, you get that one step closer to the finish line. And to put this into perspective, this month I've ran over 300 kilometers. I don't even know, I don't even want to work that out in steps, but it's probably hundreds of thousands of steps. And all it started with was one step forward. Because as soon as you take one step forward, the other one follows, the other one follows, and then 100, 200,000 later, we're almost at that finish line. And I feel absolutely fantastic, I feel great. And I hope this video has motivated and inspired at least one of you to get up and challenge yourself, whether that be on a run, whether that be in the gym, whether it be simply, you know, reading a book, whatever that might be, just get out there push yourself and just try and be better than you were yesterday i've really enjoyed this challenge i hope you've enjoyed this video please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments i've still got one day left i've got tomorrow's day last day so what i'm going to do right at the end of this video is i'm just going to clip the recording on the screen here uh, from my phone that I do for tomorrow's run. That's been the run 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. I hope you've enjoyed it. Going forward, I'm gonna be pushing my mind and body to the limits and I'm gonna be documenting the journey. I've got some really awesome events coming up, not only physical, but mental. So make sure that you stay tuned for them. I don't wanna give too much away right now, but if I can give you any sort of clue, it would be that 10 kilometers a day for the whole of February is absolutely nothing in comparison to what I've got in store for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day, smash it, and have a look at the last day of this run. Until next time, bow. 300 kilometers later, almost half a million steps later, and we're finally here, people. Day 29 out of 29 of the run, 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. It's been a hard, it's been a tough month. But it just goes to show with discipline, with consistency, and with showing up for yourself every single day, we are capable of a lot more than we could ever think. Build or break people, let's go, baby. That is it. We've just got back from the last run of the run 10 kilometers a day challenge for the whole of February. I'm absolutely drained. I'm tired, I'm battered and bruised, but it's been a great run. It's been tough. It's been a very, me and this, me and this challenge have had a love-hate relationship, but I can finally say that I've done it. I can finally say that I have completed this challenge. And on to the next one. Bow.